Hey fam, you know where you are. I'm sure you know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures. Too. Right here, you're watching Nollywood Pictures right here on YouTube for the best of African content and drama. Nollywood Pictures TV. Nollywood Pictures TV. My name is Frederick Leonard and I'm wishing you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. God bless you. I love you all. The report on this issue. We held a meeting with your father too, and he promised us that he was going to talk to you. Now we are asking you too, did you return the boy to Ikena as your father told us? Mazi, he is not the boy. He is my son. My boy. I've been a father to that boy from the day he came into this world. I was in the labor room and saw him come to this world. I paid his hospital bills, bought him food, bought diapers, and sometimes changed the diapers when he defecated on himself. Carried him here. At nights when he cried, and couldn't find sleep. Nursed him with my resources. Gave him a good life. Would interest you all to know that the first day Chidi went to school, I was there for him as his father. I do all of that. And you think that I'll give him up? Tony! Father, please, don't Tony me. What you are asking is evil. Evil because this is a setup to take my boy away from me. After all the work that I have done, sleepless nights, resources to give him a good life that he's enjoying right now. And you want to take him from me? I said no. No. Where is the boy? You mean my son? I said, where is the boy? Because he's with me, but he's with the father. Tony, you will receive the party for the work of his father's. Even me, I will compensate him. All these diapers he said he bought, I will give him back the money. <laughs> but in this whole thing, I will not give it to him. Osa and Luzi, the Rabia situation. These two animals, I. I'm not. If you don't eat. And the struggle over it, the truth is that one of them has the right to the palm tree that produces the palm nut. As if I know that this whole thing will boil down to this situation. I bluntly refuse to accept that. Yes. And by tradition, the child remains my child. Is your you had me your man? Ha, we are proud. Your Majesty. I do not need your money. Neither do I want any kind of compensation from you. Really, money is not everything. But speaking about money, really. I don't care how any one of you seated here, how much you claim to have in your bank accounts. All of you put together cannot be richer than me. <clears throat> I'm not here for money, Igwe. I'm here for my boy. The first time I came here, you blatantly refused to talk to me. Your daughter insulted me and walked me out of your palace. And you have once again invited me here to ridicule me. 
by claiming that a child that I fathered from when he came into this world, a child that you rejected when he was in his mother's womb, a child that I have slept sleepless nights with, nurturing and taking care of, belongs to you. Igwe Chidi is my son. If I cannot have him, no one else can have him. Not even this ex-convict seated here. Which your son, Mungo? Stop talking nonsense. Which your son? Uh, Ikena Chiri. Chiri. Ichiobi. Your son is beginning to sound funny. Yes. Forgive me when I feel that he's sounding funny. Because I, I cannot comprehend why a young, vibrant man like him, with a woman, I mean a wife, as beautiful and young as Ozioma, will prefer to die fighting for another man's child when he can jolly well make babies for himself. I can't understand. That's the question I'm even asking myself. I, I, that's, I, I can't just understand. When you guys are yeah? already so ready. Why can't you go for your own son and leave my son alone? That's the question. When you get to open the town and leave my son. Igwe, talk to this small girl to leave my son alone. I know why I'm keeping quiet. Leave my son alone for crying out loud. Am I, I, I going to speak English? You, 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 papa him, you, not to him, you, 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 leave my son alone. As far as I am concerned, you all are making noise. Mm -hmm. The boy is mine. And that is final. This boy is very rude. Will you shut up and allow the king and the elders to speak? The son is not yours, it's my son. Why are you dragging my son with me? Where are you? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Okay. Steph! Steph! Follow me. thinking you are still crying you want to kill yourself my life is worth nothing if taking my life is better then that should be the best thing I will do for myself since childhood Life has been using me as a pendulum, swinging me left and right. If I had a mother, life wouldn't treat me so bad. Father has been calling me. He refused to pick his calls. Why should I? Why should I take his calls? Because you said something to him. Or because he knows I am having issues. A man who deliberately rejected my suitor for no reason. Now everybody looks at me like someone who opens her legs. I to understand. 
but please take his cause. There is nothing like having peace with your heart. I beg of you, please. <laughs> deny the fact that you are my daughter. You are my blood, my first seed in this world. It is just that I had too much pains towards your mother. But that is by the way, I am no longer living in the past. Your mother had even appeared in my dreams several days. On your behalf, my daughter, you're my first seed. Please, no doubt about it. Just forgive your father. No matter what had happened, I will make sure I right all the wrongs from now. Please, my princess. Please. Where did that? Please, you have to forgive me too. I've been a bad sister who doesn't value God. I thank God for Zaram who always played with father on your behalf. I am really sorry, Princess Uzioma. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please. You're my sister. Let's live as one family. United. Please, I am so sorry. Yes. Forgive us. Please. Ikenna is the only man I have ever known. He is the only seed of his late parents. He was actually the one taking care of me before he traveled overseas. His arrest, his death and everything was, was actually the confusion that made me marry Tony. So, he gave you that bunch of money to take care of yourself and the baby before you left. Then came in the news of his arrest. Yes, father, he did. He's actually the child's father. Tony was there all through the pregnancy, and that's made him grow fond of the boy. Well, Ikenna is the real father of your son. That's who we know. On the other hand, Tony didn't actually pay your bride price. So what do we do? Tell whoever that is with my grandchild to bring him. I want to eat with him. And I will not spare anybody, whosoever it is, that Jews with the royal blood. I love as the king intervened on her behalf. There is nothing like a blood relationship. True. See as the small girl like Chizaram is going around the village looking for that her sister. How many people can do that? She tried. That's why everybody loves her. So Life is not about who you are. Life is not about being pretty or being royalty. But how to use that position to impart on lives. Yes, so. I am happy Ozema is back home. Mm -hmm. But the big question remains, who will she finally go with amongst the two men? Are you asking me? Meaning, 
Meaning that you know the right person to ask that, not me. <laughs> to be honest with you, that young boy is going to scare me. That's exactly what I said. He sounds like someone who has no hope of making babies. How can he be so insistent on claiming someone else's child? When he stands a chance of making his own baby. He's just being stupid, senseless and insensitive. But that's not a problem. Again, if I am to suggest, I will suggest you leave him with us here. I can take good care of him. Mm -mm, that is not even possible. I'm taking him back to abroad with me. But first, I need to take him to see the king as he ordered. You are not doing this abroad thing today or tomorrow. You can take him to the king, fine. Let him leave you with us when you are ready for this trip. Then you can take him if you really want to take him. Because we don't know the plan this young man has this time. We don't know what he's planning. That is the main reason I have to take him along with me. I cannot leave him here. It's not possible. Um, my brother, I think Mama is right. <coughs> Let the boy stay in the village or even at the palace so you can have time and do your business. Exactly. But I can now. You see, all I have been telling you about that was your market. But you refused to listen to me because you thought I was too young to give you advice. Now, see where it has landed you. She broke your heart. Sincerely, I wonder why all those girls who are lucky to have a man that truly loves them end up breaking the man's heart. But not to worry, but I cannot. As for your son, I promise to take care of him. I will protect him with my life. He is safe with us in the village. Forget about that Uzi or my Well, as you can see, I'm already enjoying his company. He is my grandchild, and I wouldn't like anything bad to happen to him. Talking about taking him, will be after you must have settled with the mother and the other young man. Hmm? Uh, Your Majesty, um, I'm glad that we are on the same page. You love him just like I love him, the, the father, because he's the only he's the only thing I have in this life right now, and I wouldn't want to play with his safety. He's everything I have in this life. So I'm glad that um, he will be here, and I believe he will be safe with you. Okay, I don't trade him for anything. The same way I love him, the same way I loved the mother until she, you know. Uh, my grandchild is in safe hands. He is my first grandchild, grandson for that matter. Talking about his mother, I was one of the reasons she left this village. But I think. You two are mature enough to settle this issue and make a play. Hmm? You can resolve it peacefully. Listen, you must not even marry. You might decide to even put behind you what has happened in the past and face the future. Hmm? All I want is peace. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Father. My princess. I'll be with him in my room. Good. But before then, tell the maidens to prepare a very nice dish for my grandson. Hmm? <laughs> also, get the gas for me. So I send them to go and buy good things for him.
and raising your own. There is nothing you can do to have him. He is not your biological child. And his father did not abandon him at birth. It was only unfortunate accident that he couldn't help. So forget about him. Tony Obi, great one. The great one has frowned on the trivial issues you have occupied yourself with of late. I have been mandated to instruct you to stay away from the case and hand over the kid to his biological father. I'm sorry, great one, but that is something. I love that boy. I have become so attached to that boy. I love him. Like truly he's mine. Great one. You know very well why I'm holding on to that boy. That's reason! Is it consequential, Tony Obi? It was a dangerous and useless move, which you shouldn't have done. May I remind you, Tony Obi? You made an everlasting on the line. The world everlasting covenant with the master. And that must be honored with tact and joy. May I remind you, Tony Obi? Be the architect of your own destruction. The Great One has spoken, Tony. The Great One has spoken. The Lord Spiritual said that. Yeah, he did. I'm not listening to that nonsense. I would not do it. What? What's up with you? How can you go against the great one good instruction? You, Benson, you should know better. You of all people should know better. You know that I can never have a child of my own. I'm also forbidden to adopt. You know that the reason that I saw Ozraba and clinged onto her was because she was pregnant. And that was my one chance of having a child that I can call my own. So after all these years, that boy born into this house, sleepless nights, nurturing and bringing him up, all my resources, everything that I put in, Benson, you will not expect me to let go like that. Do you know that I love that boy? That boy, that boy calls me daddy. I'll not let go.
You know, I find it funny as much as I find it strange that since our boy was abducted by your ex, you've been relaxed. You've done nothing about it. I am beginning to think that it's a conspiracy between the both of you to take Chidi away from me. Tony, why would you even say a thing like that? You know, that is not even possible. That is my son we are talking about How here. How is it not possible? That retard came here, took our son. You could not even put up a fight. You're relaxed. You're okay with the boy being with him. You want me to put up a fight? You and I know that there is nothing, absolutely nothing we can do about this. I can ask the biological father of that boy. We have no grounds or whatever to, to win this fight. So why do we even need to start? So suddenly I'm a third wheel. That's what it is. You know, I'm disappointed. I opened my heart to you. I opened my life, my house, my resources to you. I had your back when everybody turned their back on you. I gave you all of me when that boy abandoned you and ran off with Chidi in your home. Were it not for me, Chidi would have survived, even you. And after all of that, this is what you tell me. You call me a third wheel, indirectly. After everything that I have done for you, Uzioma, this is what I get? Huh. Let me tell you, I don't care how this is seen or understood by anyone else, but you see that boy, Chidi, belongs to me. I will not allow that monkey to take my son away from me. It will not happen. Flash. I'm good. Um, listen, I I need you guys. Yes, we meet at the usual spot. he holds that that leaves him so inflamed whenever losing Chidi is mentioned. This whole thing is getting me confused and uncomfortable. I'm beginning to get scared of him myself. The doctor have confirmed us healthy enough to produce our own kids, but no, he doesn't want to focus on that. He doesn't even want to talk about it. I don't know why he wants to die hanging on to that boy, Chidi. 
I understand the fact that he is emotionally attached to this child, but come on. He doesn't love Chidi more than I do. I am his mother. I can't even bear to lose my own son, but what would I do? What's up? Boss, mm -hmm. the small boy is not with him. We have closely monitored the palace for a day now. We have every reason to believe that he was have sent him out of the country. Because we monitor every in the palace. Assumptions, I don't like that. Assumptions, I want you to talk to me with facts. Alright? This is what we're going to do. Ah! You'll have to extend the search. You hear me? Extend your search to the palace. My gut feeling tells me that that boy be kept in the palace because they will think that will be a safe place for him. Boss, I don't think the palace will be an easy access. But you don't rule out possibilities, all right? Search the palace. <laughs> Telling me. Oh yeah, I would call you when I get to my destination. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait, wait. We need to talk before you leave. I know, we'll talk. I will call you, then we'll talk. Okay? What do you mean you will call me? You don't even say anything to me. Babe, I'll call you, alright? Tony! Okay, at least put down the glass so we can talk. Stop telling me you will call me, put down the glass. Tony! Where is that bastard husband of yours? He's been sending his men around my uncle's house in the village and around the palace to kidnap my son. Tell him that my men are trailing him too. Gwakweo, tell him. Go on to basketball. Namua, na boka football. Opa winga kan na bao. If anything happens to my son, where is he? Where the fuck is he? Traveled today. I, I don't even know. He didn't tell me where he was going. What, 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 what do you mean he traveled today without telling you? Listen, my husband has been mad at me. He said I didn't put up a fight when you came here to take GD. I don't know where he is. He's very mad. 
his generations from generations are very mad. Tell him what I said. If anything happens to my son, if anything happens to my son, Mbia here, eh? Mbia here. Okay. Okay. No. Let me look for my son. Let me just look for my son. Not lay our hands on that boy because the palace security was so tight. We must answer from this deal, boss. The other man who claimed to be the father of that boy is telling us to. I'm done with this business. This is not the kind of deal we do. That is bullshit. That right there is bullshit. You hear me? I paid both of you to execute. Keep an eye on my boy. Get him back for me. Are you out of your minds? Are you stupid? You call me out here to forbid this bullshit. Boss, we are not stupid. Yes. What do you want us to do? Do we kill ourselves for you? We have tried our best. Uh, listen, you are not going to talk to me in that manner. You're not doing this for free. I paid both of you. All right? Especially you, I paid you. Kill it. Get it and killed. That motherfucker is still passing around town, disturbing my peace, holding my son. You're not doing anything about it. You Stop call me out here. Stop him. Are you, are you? Yes! You're talking to me like, stop it! Will you try? What do you want? What do you want? Tell me! We broke out of the house. I dumped the boy. What do you want again? See, as I did tell you so, eh? we'll not do business together. I don't know you. You know me? After all, we don't collect our gun. Good. There the runs. We are done doing business with you. I don't know you. You've never seen me before. Come on, let's go. Tony, you are so selfish and so self-centered and stubborn. We, the members of the Lord's Temple Society, did not invite you to our chambers. Tony, you came with these, your two legs, to us and pleaded. You want to be rich by all means and at all cost. Even if it means sacrificing your manhood and not having a child for life. Tony, that was okay by you. Even when you kept a child in your house. But we love the way as if you don't know. I personally came to you, Tony, and I want you to stay away from the child. But what did I get? Tony, you disobeyed. You didn't listen to me. Tony. You have disobeyed the rules of the engagement of the fraternity. Tony, your word is death. And it shall come to you. Your death will shall be deepest in your comfort.
it. Tony, you are an occultic man. I mean, that's why I've not been able to have my own child. Now I see it. Now I see why you wouldn't let Chibi be. This is it. This is it. This is your life, Tony. I can't, I can't believe this. I can't believe this is the life I've always had. Can you sit down? Judith. Sit first. What is it? Judith, you won't believe it. You won't believe it. Tony is an occultic man. That is the reason we've not been able to have our own children. His grandmaster appeared to him before my very own eyes in the compound. As I took it to you, Tony's lying dead in the compound. What kind of useless life is this? The very first day your uncle came in with this young man, my spirit rejected him. And when I took a closer look at him, he was looking so fetish that my mind did not accept him. So that young man used his manhood for riches. Children of this generation and their quest for riches. That is why he desperately needs a child. Another man's blood. People can be so funny. I mistakenly opened a room in that house and I saw him holding a wooden casket. My head blasted that day. I knew something was wrong with him. So he's gone just like that. Vanity all is vanity. Just look at the way he ended his life. He did not get anything. He just lost his life like that. Vanity. Upon vanity. All oh, vanity. Because of riches of this world, a man sacrificed his manhood and later died miserably. What? Please, um, where is GD? Ikena and his cousin Ada was here yesterday and father allowed them to take Chudu because he was crying he missed his son. He's already bonding with him. You said he's a uh, his biological father. And uh, I think he's safe in their hands. Why worry? Uh, Alright, I I think I'll go there and see him. I need to see my son. You are free to do that. Sure. Let's go. Alright, father, I'll see you. My princess, someone is looking for you, and she said her name is Judith. Oh. Alright, tell her I'll join her outside. Okay, my princess. My princess. My princess. Alright. Okay, Sarah. I 
know that all these things that Mazi will be sown have been doing were not out yet. Even the way he made his money is also a mystery to most of us. Now look at the way he ended his life. We should learn to avoid joining evil secret societies and be contented with what we have. And even the young girls of nowadays, they are never patient enough to wait for God to direct their affairs. They have to be very careful. Poor Ojiwa. I think she was deceived into believing that when I came out was dead. Though I did not like what her father, the king, did to them when they were dating those days. But that is not a problem. The most important thing is that we have Chid here with us. And Brother Kena here now has another brother. Greetings, everyone. Greetings. Greetings. Please, I came to ask for a king last for you. Kena, please, I am very, very sorry. I trust this whole thing. Please. I was actually the person that pushed her into marrying Tony. She never wanted to. You know, the news of your death sentence came as a rude shock to us. In the heat of the event, we didn't know what to do because there was no means of survival, coupled with a heavy pregnancy. I asked her to marry Tony. She refused. I chased her out of my house. After a few days, she wandered back. That was when she accepted the proposal. Please, I beg you, forgive us. Please. Can I? Can I, I am deeply sorry. I should have stood my ground and, and resisted like I did. No choice. <laughs> I had a child in my womb with nothing to eat, nowhere to go to. <laughs> and that was when Tony came by and proposed. I had to accept him. I, I, I didn't even know he was a courtist. But heaven bear me witness. I don't even love this man. I just had to give in because of my condition. Kenna. Please. <laughs> I beg you with everything you hold dear. <laughs> if not for anything, for the sake of our son, and for everything we shared, I beg you, please forgive me. Please. I also want to beg you to please take care of our child. Sorry. Ozioma. Ozioma, you didn't do well at all. You didn't do well. You couldn't even wait for me. Just five months. Eh? After all the promises we made to each other. You couldn't even wait before jumping into another man's hand. Eh? It's painful. I won't lie to you. It's painful that you married another man. But it's more painful to have allowed another man lay claim to my blood, my son. I mean, how could you? Eh? How could you do such a thing? Eh? But it's okay. I'm forgiving you. I mean, if God Almighty can show me mercy. Could have been a dead man. But I'm alive today because he wants me to prove a point. 
are forgiving you. And you, Judith, you didn't do well. How can you just open your mouth like tap water and be talking anyhow? Saying things you're not sure of. Wishing another man dead. How, how could you? Eh? Next time you have to be very sure now before you start talking. You have to be very sure. Right? You can call on me anytime you need anything or anytime you have problems. After all, you're, you're, you're my son's mother. So why, why wouldn't I be there for you? But if it's having anything, like I said, to do with you, that it's, it's, it will not be possible again. So you people can go. Eh? It's okay. I understand. Mommy, where is it? Please forgive my mommy. Please, please forgive my mommy. She took care of me. If I am in your blood, she is your blood too. She did a mistake. And we all do mistakes. Daddy, please, Daddy, Bobby. Daddy, Daddy, please, Daddy, please. Daddy, Daddy. I can see it, it 
celebrate But who we have me out Maka no wana to moja But who we had me out Maka no wana to me of words mm, But I have thousand words to say Oh my God You are my only hope Please tell me what to do Cause I'm confused I'm confused I'm confused Oh my God So many problems on me Too much problems on me Ever